A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Oh my gosh, it is so thrilling. Oh, hi. I hadn't seen you there. Oh my gosh. How spontaneous. <laughs> hi guys. Oh my God. It's been a while since I've done like a reading vlog day in the life of a booktuber slash student video, <laughs> I guess. I just came home from my boyfriend. It is 12 o'clock right now. I see that my battery is almost dead, but I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm gonna charge you, and then I'm gonna take you with me for the next couple of days. I want to make this like a cozy reading vlog, but also I just had my Etsy update and I'm so excited for it. But I launched a new tote bag. I had four new bookmarks and my shop has been closed for like three, almost four months because I was just like so busy with trying to readjust to the university lifestyle that I also have right now. Like for the past eight months, YouTube was my life and like where all of my energy was put into, but now I am also studying psychology and it's just crazy. <laughs> but I really wanted to reopen my shop again. And of course I still have all of my old products as well. So if you want to support me and my channel, it would mean so much to me if you would check out my Etsy shop and buy from my small business. Honestly, every single sale that I make because of you guys just makes me feel so happy and loved. And if you want to get like Christmas presents for like a friend, a family member, a loved one, I highly recommend you to order it right now before December because due to COVID, there are still so many shipping delays and I just cannot really give like an estimated delivery time because of all of those things. But do know that every single package is made with love. So I will be showing you guys how I pack my orders as well and we'll give you little sneak peeks of new products. But before I'm gonna take a nice shower and make some coffee with you guys, I wanna talk about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators with topics such as illustration, graphic design, photography, creative writing, and many more. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. With their surface, you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and you can get lost in creativity. I have previously used Skillshare to improve my Spanish by using this Spanish for Beginners class by Peter Henley. And I have a special offer for you guys. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium so that you can explore your creativity. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's go on to the reading vlog. But like I said, I'm first gonna freshen myself up because I can look way better than this. <laughs> Okay, I have decided something that I'm gonna do, which I'm always kind of like scared of, of doing. I'm gonna curl my hair, that's not the thing. <laughs> I'm not scared of curling my hair. But whilst I'm doing that, I wanna give you guys a little life update. And why I'm always scared of that is because 
constantly in my mind and this is one of my insecurities lately is that whenever I talk a bit about my personal life or about stuff that's non book related you guys find me boring and that is why in reading vlogs I rarely want to like talk about myself or like maybe I do want to talk about myself but I just I cut away all the rambling like I'm doing right now and Right now, I'm forcing myself to keep it in the video. I have been having so many insecurities lately with my YouTube content, and that's mainly because I am full-time studying right now, and in my gap year, like seven-month gap year, I guess, I had all the time in the world. I could plan out my whole week the way that I wanted to, and I could just like solely focus on making content, reading books, being creative, and I absolutely adored that. But now I'm like fully thrown back into this academic school world and it's very difficult to combine with having my job, with being self-employed through YouTube and Etsy, and I love it so much. But it's definitely a struggle of finding the time and motivation to film because once I am done with like my deadlines for school or like last week I had fine and I tried recording a study with me as a psychology student video but then whenever I was done with studying I was just not motivated or energized enough to film a video <laughs> and then it made me feel bad because I was like oh I could have created so many amazing like shots I could have made amazing content with this because I know that a lot of you guys are in school as well and love seeing how other people study because I personally adore studying vlogs and uni vlogs as well but it's very difficult with having full-time uni having a self-employed job is that how you say it I don't know I'm also part of like a study association little group and we also have to organize stuff for that as well and also trying to maintain a social life it is a lot <laughs> and with that I'm gonna go into like a little bit of a youtuber content creator rant and talk about my insecurities mostly I think because lately I feel like I haven't been able to give like my full potential like a hundred percent into my videos and also my views have been going down a bit that just it does make me feel insecure I don't want to look at the numbers but I do YouTube also makes it very difficult not to look at your analytics because for instance I don't know if you know but YouTube makes like a top 10 of your most recently uploaded videos and it puts it in order of how many views you get so every time when I upload a new video I'm constantly comparing it to how my other videos have done and lately they are all at the bottom they're all number nine or number ten and it makes you feel shitty even if you try not to look at the numbers because what I think is the most important and the most fun about YouTube videos is interacting with you guys that is honestly the best if I get like 10,000 views and five reactions I feel shitty but if I get 2,000 views and like 50 reactions that makes me feel the best comments are amazing but especially now that YouTube is also my job besides it being my hobby and I do have these amazing companies that I get to work with I'm constantly worrying about like oh my gosh and how is the collaboration going but trying to find a balance has been a little bit tricky lately but let's stop talking about like my little YouTube rant I don't think you can really call it a rant it's mostly just my personal insecurities which don't make any sense and they are things that I don't have to worry about I really do want to make study related content as well please let me know in the comments down below if that is something that interests you I personally love it but I find it very very difficult to like vlog in public and I'm still so scared of that <laughs> but I would love to show you around in my student city at the university campus and like I promised you guys a first week as a psychology student uh, and I did film a little bit but mostly in my dorm room and I think that that is so boring to look at and also it's been over two months now since I started my study so I feel like I cannot really post that type of content anymore more, but I would really like to film a week in the life of a psychology student. Let me know if that sounds like something you'd be interested in. I can show you like the groceries that I have to do. I can show you when I'm studying or what my week kind of looks like because I am really, really hoping that I can sit in a lecture hall again. And I hope that everything can be a little bit more physical right now as well, because I really miss talking to the lecturers, seeing with whom you are studying. It's just so nice and I feel really, really bad for people who are studying for like their actual first year right now because they have never 
experienced sitting in the lecture hall with their friends or even just like going out and doing fun activities. So in that case, I'm somewhat lucky that I'm actually like a fifth year student and almost three of those years have been spent physically at school. But yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in that type of content. These were kind of like my insecurities that I wanted to talk about. Maybe some other online content creators can relate or perhaps you also started studying again and you're kind of like, oh my gosh, how do I mix my job with my social life with school as well? I am really happy though that I can say that the first two courses that I followed during these past 10 weeks, I got sufficient grades i got some really good grades and i don't have to like retake any finals and i'm so happy about that this week during the 8th of november i have a whole week off tomorrow i'm gonna go to a theme park with brit from basically brit leola from books with leo and michelle from books michelle and i'm so excited i'm also gonna go and have lunch with one of my really really great friends so i just have a ton of amazing things that i'm gonna do this week and i'm gonna take you with me on the journey <laughs> Okay, so all of the Dutch orders have been packed and I will be shipping them out right now. And then I will finally be telling you about the book that I'm currently reading because I am loving it so much. It's an amazing thriller. We're first gonna go on a walk. <laughs> Okay, it is 10 past seven in the evening right now. And I am gonna talk to you guys about the book that I'm currently reading. And I have been really getting into this genre and I never really read these types of books, but it is thrillers slash murder mysteries. Okay, this one I think is very much a thriller and that one is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I received this in one of the uh, book of the month boxes for, yeah, for September. Oh my God. Gosh, it is so thrilling. It really fits the theme, like the genre of the book. I am on page 165 out of almost 300 pages. So it's also quite a short one. You follow three until so far, three different perspectives. I won't be talking about third perspective, but the other two are a married couple and they've been married for 10 years, but lately it hasn't been going too well and what basically happens is that they will be going to this like chapel in scotland which is like very in the middle of nowhere in the woods and they will be spending the weekend there to kind of see whether they can save their marriage or not but there are a ton of secrets in this marriage and what the synopsis says is they both know this weekend will make or break their relationship but they didn't randomly win this trip so there is something going on there. One of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. 10 years of marriage, 10 years of secrets and an anniversary they will never forget. So slowly but surely you start to get to know the characters a bit more and you kind of start to find out the secrets that they have. But Gabby from Gabby Reads, who I have been really enjoying watching her content and I wanna watch many more of her videos. She recently made like a recommendations thriller edition, like her her top favorite thrillers of all time and she talked about this one as well and she said that in the end there will be so many plot twists so I'm like very unsure of what's gonna happen and my mind will probably be blown. I I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Every single chapter ends at like a cliffhanger, which makes you just like constantly want to read more. And they are rather short. I would say maybe about like five to 10 pages 
per chapter so you just like fly through it so this is absolutely perfect plus as you can kind of tell from the cover it takes place at like a very wintry snowy setting and it's also super isolated so the setting is absolutely perfect it also has a very creepy house and i'm gonna guess someone is gonna die in this book but I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully I will be reading a little bit more later tonight. But first I'm gonna pack more of the international orders because I wanna get out as many orders as possible. Okay, I look so bad, but I am so confused right now. <laughs> I'm like 40 to 50 pages away from the end and like there has been some kind of plot twist going on right now. And like, it's a really, really big plot twist. And like the puzzle pieces are almost coming together, even though like a lot of things are being revealed right now and the puzzle should already be finished. I shouldn't be done with it. My brain just cannot <laughs> phantom what is going on right now. So I am literally so confused. <laughs> I may have to like look up ending explain because I feel like this plot twist is like insane, but my brain can just not understand it. So I don't know if I'm just not smart enough for this book, but I think that's so funny. But like, oh my God, my brain, I just, I don't, I don't know what's going on and I hate it. <laughs> Fuck. Like this huge plot twist is revealed and I just cannot understand it. Like I'm stupid. <laughs> A few moments later, I sort of get it right now. I think I'm starting to get it. The plot twist. And now I want to reread the whole book to see. How did I miss this? How? Good morning! Okay, my camera is dead, so I'm filming on my phone. Because I have a new iPhone, the quality is so good, but when I look like this, I don't want the quality to be good. <laughs> so, I have packed all of the Etsy orders that you guys place. So in here, I have all of the international and national orders that actually already have like a post stamp thingy. Like they are absolutely ready to go into the mail. Of course, I'm gonna carry them in my tote bag, which I honestly, I have never been more proud of a product that I have created than this one. I think the bag looks so good and it's actually so sturdy. Like you can carry more than 10 kilograms worth of books and groceries or whatever you want to put into this bag. I don't know how many pounds or anything that is, so that will be up here on the screen somewhere. But I also have like a shit ton of orders that still need to have like the shipping information on them. So I'm gonna go to the supermarket postal service thingy right now. Last night, I did not finish Rock, Paper, Scissors. Let me grab the book. And like I said, the plot twist was insane, but my brain could just not compute it or could not process it. I have been able to do that right now, but I was kind of scared of what was gonna happen more because it was like 12.30 a.m. and I was actually really tired, but also reading a thriller and then immediately going to sleep is kind of creepy. So <laughs> it ended on a not super, super creepy ending. So I thought like, okay, now's the perfect time to go to sleep. So I'm gonna go to the postal service office thing and then I'm gonna finish this book and I will let you know my thoughts and opinions. Okay, 
it's a little later. I almost have to go to the hairdressers in less than 45 minutes, but I'm gonna close off this vlog right now. And I finished rock, paper, scissors, and oh my gosh, did I love it. I rated it a five out of four, wait, what? <laughs> I rated it a five out of five stars on Goodreads. Like my actual rating would be like a four and a half out of five stars. I'm also just like very slowly getting into the murder mystery slash psychological thriller. That's this type of book. But I'm just starting to get into those types of books and I'm finding out that I'm actually really quite enjoying them. So please let me know in the comments down below. I'm trying to like do this. <laughs> if you have any psychological thriller murder mystery types of books that I absolutely need to pick up. I am so glad that because of like book of the month because they do occasionally sponsor my videos but because of them I have been able to read two or three of these types of books and I'm actually really really loving them so they have some pretty amazing like recommendations. This one is fantastic. I'm gonna look up if Alice Feeney's other books sound like fun to me as well but like I said recommendations are so very welcome. At the end after the huge plot twist there were many other little plot twists that came there as well and they freaked me out the characters without spoiling you the characters that alice feeney wrote are just so messed up <laughs> like each character is fucked up in their own way so that's fun <laughs> but this is the perfect thriller to read during the fall autumn times and the winter because of the setting because of the creepiness but i hope that you enjoyed following me around this week watching me pack all the etsy orders it will mean so much to me if you could support my small business and check out my etsy shop a link is in the description box down below i hope that you will have the best week yourself as well thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below and hopefully i will see you guys very soon in another video bye